hey guys welcome back to my channel and a new video today i am in the middle of the shenandoah mountains and i am in a massive cemetery right now it's called elk run cemetery and it is big so you're gonna come along with me we're gonna go ahead and explore it there are some really old graves i'm gonna go and have a look at so come along with me i'm not afraid of the boogie man Instead, I look at him like he's a friend. There's not a monster out there in the world. The scarier than the one that's within. Cemetery in the Shenandoah Mountains. Now, most people would look at something like this and go, oh my, this is massive. And it really, truly is a massive cemetery. Um, I'm not going to be going through it all with you because there are people that are visiting some some graves in here and I don't want to intrude on their privacy but I had to show you this hopefully I can get um a fairly decent video for you guys I see a few really really old ones that we're just going to go and have a look at Hopefully you can hear me okay. I forgot my earphones in the truck and I don't feel like going back. There are some amazing graves though in here. Some really, really pretty, pretty graves. Two guys. All right. I went back and got my earphones just to see if we can catch anything, anything at all. It's those over there that got me interested. So this. If there's anybody here with me in this cemetery that would like to come and talk to me, you can come and do so. You can speak into my camera and I'll hear you when I play this back. They're so old, can't see anything on that one. Oh, shadow, sorry guys. This is the one that I'm most drawn to. I do have one of the Mikes and Tyler with me here. They're way over there on the other side. I think I found an old side to this cemetery, definitely. But it's so big. staying out of this so I can't go in it I can walk around it but... 1904 is that what I'm seeing yep 1904 <laughs>
something about this cemetery. I'm really, really drawn to that, like those over there. Behind that gate, I don't know why. I mean, I feel like the cemetery goes on for miles and miles, but it doesn't. did find an abandoned house and it's like right off of one of these I don't know if you can see it from this way it's like way over here somewhere it's just I don't know if it's completely abandoned or not it's, uh, of course I can't walk this entire thing but I can show you a little bit of it. Like I said, this is in the heart of the Shenandoah Mountains. I wanted to go to the uh, Skyline Drive, but it just seems like it's hard to get to. And they have so much, so much stuff like blocked off up here, I guess, because of the thing that's going on around here so uh, there's so much that it's altered so gotta take what you can get I suppose to be a little bit more quiet this time guys see if anybody wants to talk to me a little bit you know I wonder if this hit any graves doesn't look like it pretty old. I don't know guys, so we go and try and it's like a lot of really pretty graves that right let's walk this way. What is that? Hang on guys. Let's see what this is about. If I just came into a mausoleum maybe Yeah, the house is right there, right here. Um, I'm pretty sure it's abandoned. There's just no way, it, w it would not be abandoned. There's no way. Then again, there's a couple houses that I thought were abandoned and they were not. So, look at this. Oh my word, it is. It's a family, like, mausoleum. J.R. Cover. Look at this. <gasps> wow. Oh. Yeah. Wow. Great. 
snow too. At least I think that's what it is up there. I believe. Wow. Look at that. These are the kind of graveyards I absolutely live for because they are so gorgeous. There's like a surprise around every corner. I mean that with the utmost respect. But I mean, that's insane, you guys. <clears throat> All right, so after I walk around here a little bit, we'll go on back and see what else we can get into today. Hopefully you can hear me. The wind isn't too bad. Wow. Here I am saying I'm not going to walk the whole cemetery, but I walk from the back to the front already. <laughs> I mean, everything around it. I mean, these are the type of cemeteries I just love so much. so I can get it right. I think it's Elk Run Cemetery in the Shenandoah Mountains. Oh my gosh, you guys. Sorry, I know I'm a little bit sniffly and stuff like that. I'm sorry. But this is an awesome Mother's Day. It's, it's I get to come to the amazing mountains explore. Alright, I'm going to say it one more time. If there is any spirits roaming the cemetery that would like to talk to me, you can come up to me and talk into my camera and I will hear you when I play this back. So what I'm going to go ahead and do, guys, I am going to stop this video because I don't want to keep them all day long from me running around the cemetery. So I'm going to go and try and see if we can find an 
abandoned house. Maybe that one down the street is. So keep your fingers crossed. All right, you guys, hope you enjoyed this video. See hey you guys, soon. welcome back to my channel in another video. Um, so I believe we have found abandoned property here. A huge house, this little shed, and there's a little witch and a digger next door to it. So I guess we can try to look around, see if we can gain access. If not, at least it's a good outside one, right? Wait See intermission minute. before you get back to the video. Um, I'm glad I did not go inside of said house because it is no trespassing. Um, it's some kind of history that has to do with Elkton and there have been people to be arrested from the property before. I did a little bit of research this morning, so yeah, I'm glad I did not go in it. Um, but walking around the outside was fine. Um, the other two buildings that are on that property, we could have went in. Um, it's just, it was really rickety and falling apart and it could have been extremely unsafe. So I just wanted to include this in this video. Go back to it. All right, guys. So let's do this little journey, little walk around. This is just an abandoned house, it looks like in the Shenandoah Mountains. Now, I don't know the story on this, but whatsoever. There's a big old barn back there, another one right there. I don't know if this is no trespassing. I haven't seen a no trespassing sign. So I don't know. Definitely not trying to get into trouble. That's a hospital bed. Oh. I don't know. If anything, it's just really cool looking from the outside, huh? Lord, it's like a basement. Uh huh. Jeez, I don't like basements. See, look at this too. And that building there had uh, pictures of a questionable nature up on the side of it, so I cannot take you in there. But I guess we can kind of walk around. This is definitely abandoned. Like I said, I don't really know too much about it. I haven't seen any no trespassing, but it's kind of on this main corner and, you know, without really knowing anything about it. looks fairly new. And again, I don't really see. There is no no trespassing. But it's like I don't want to push my luck because it's right out in the open. Alright, you guys. I'm going to go ahead and just kind of get off here because I don't know if this is okay or not, so. Or, actually no, let's try over there. There's Tyler, he's with me today. And the other Mike is with me. It's like we're all really curious that was open, that door is open, but I don't know. 
Like I said, some places up here in the mountains, people still live in. They still live in. So, I don't know. It's like a little bit nerve wracked. Like I said, if it was back like, you know, in the middle of nowhere, I would try to gain some kind of access. And I don't want to walk back that way because snakes and everything else could be there. So you guys may see this, you may not see it, I don't know. I don't know. Yes, I forgot to film an outro to this video. So with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'm sorry I could not gain access to the property, but like I said in the video, it is a no trespass. So I'm glad I didn't go in. Um, my gut was right about that one. Um, walking around the outside was fine. Um, the other two buildings on the property, I could have went in. They were fine to go in, except for the fact that they were rickety and old and a safety hazard. So make sure you do your research. Make sure you walk around these properties. Make sure it's safe to be there and safe to go in. Um, yeah, well, with that being said, hope you guys like this video. Give it a great big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell to be notified every single time I upload a video. And I will see you guys soon.